everybody out there in TV land. You already know who it is. You already know what I'm about. But just in case you forgot, I'm internationally known, nationally recognized, locally accepted, doing what's vital to my title as a workforce workplace expert. <clears throat> Today, I will share a very successful strategy to help you overcome hiring challenges in the post-COVID era. It's a spin off the previous video I did with the people before strategies, a new role for CHROs. So this concept is about creating a G3 to make the CHRO role a true, a true partner. The CFO should create a triumvirate at the top of the corporation that includes both the CFO and the CHRO. Forming such a team is the single best way to link financial numbers with the people who produce them. You understand me? It also signals to the organization that you are lifting the HR into the inner sanctum and that the CHR's contri CHRO's contribution will be analogous to the CFO. Although some companies may want the CF a CHRO to be part of the extended group that includes, say, like the chief technology officer or the ch uh, chief risk officer, the G3 as we call it, is the core group that should steer the core the company and it should meet apart from everyone else. The G3 will shape the destiny of the business by looking forward at the big picture while others have their head buried in the operation. It will ensure that the company stays on the rail by homing in on any problems with execution. Do you know what I'm talking about? It is the G3 that makes the connections between the organization and the business results. For example, prime example, at Marsh, a global leader in insurance brokerage and risk management CEO, Peter Zampanino, often has one-on-one -on -one discussions with his CFO and CHRO. He held a meeting with both of them to assess the alignment of the organization with the desired business outcome. The G3 began by selecting a business within the portfolio, drawing a vertical line down the middle of the blank page of the flip, page, flip chart. And on the right side is the business performance, that, and that is the CFO's expertise. You know what I'm talking about? And on the left side is the organizational design issues, which is the CHRO, Chief Human, uh, Human Resource Officer's expertise. You get what I'm saying? So a horizontal line create boxes for the answer to two most important questions. And you know what those are? What is going well and what is not going well? In conclusion, this is the right information to bring restoration to your, you know, your talent acquisition situation. I hope you never want as long as you live and you live as long as you want. Have a wonderful and glorious day.